Welcome back to RuneScape, everybody. Today we're going to be doing the final quest available in the Gnome Quest line. It is a sad day, because I do like the Gnome Quest line. But yes, we will be doing the Prisoner of Glaufry, which unfortunately I found out will only let us get a second Spirit Tree, because apparently the third one can't be boosted. That's sad, but whatever. We'll still have two of the three, and I just have to get to 89 farming to get the last one, which... Now with the player-owned farms, shouldn't be that big of an issue. You know, we'll have a uh, Zygomite soon, and then from there we can get the levels hopefully at a reasonable pace. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. In terms of levels, I think I got like 90 mining, and that might be pretty much it. I'm very close to a construction level. We'll get that from this quest. But yeah, not too much has happened since the last episode. Let's actually click on Golri here. Alright, hey Golri, how are you doing? Hey Kebab, I'm holding my arms really uncomfortably. Um, nice of you to come down for an adder. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Remember how I said I was going to sort all this junk out? Well, I started on it, and while I was taking a break with a book, I realized that my bookmark was a letter from Gramps. It might be the last one he sent, and well, have a look. I don't know what to do. If you are reading this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he's looking for Arpo Sandra. Oh, aren't we all, though? Just in a proper sense. Alright, so yeah, lots of stuff. Glory. So you're going to help, right? Sure thing. Sure, I'll help you out. First, I have a few questions. Fire away! Do I actually need to ask these questions? I don't think I'd need to. So, uh, we'll just be on our way. That'll be all, thanks. Really? I, I kind of feel like I probably do need a little bit more than that. What should we do next? We're going to need an adventurer, someone who will recklessly bound into Arposandra, vanquish an army of gnomes, throw Gramps over the shoulder, and be back home in time for cocktails. We're going to need my mum. Your mum? He's in the center of the village at the moment. I'll introduce you. Just don't mention anything about the bookmark. Kebab, this is my mum, Golrana. And mum, this is Kebab. He's been helping me to catalog Gramps' stuff. Pleased to meet you. Wait, are you THE Kebab? The one my uncle keeps going on about? Maybe. I hope he says good things about me. That's supposed to be a woman? Doesn't look very much like a woman. <laughs> I mean, this model does, but that doesn't. Alright, he said that you saved the Tree Gnome Village by bringing back the protection orbs from the Khazard Warlord, and got rid of Glaufrey's evil watchers. Ah yes, that's me. I would have gone about it a little differently, but still, pretty heroic for a human. Mum, sorry to interrupt, but Kebab found this in the storeroom downstairs. He'd been using it as a bookmark. It probably arrived in Gramps' last shipment a few years back, but I'm not sure. Show me that, Gogo. This is terrible news. I can't wait a moment more. Gather my quest kit, Gogo. It's time to bring Dad back once and for all. You can't go on your own, Mum. I said that Kebab should go with you. You shouldn't make promises you can't keep, Gogo. The letter asks for a gnome's help. If I may, I've been in Arposandra's sewers, fought mutated terror birds, and operated anti-illusion devices. To be honest, I could probably do this by my... Yes, 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 fair enough. You can come along as my quest apprentice. Prince? Yeah. Um, I'll get ready and we'll meet you just before the Galarpos Mountains. They're the mountain range to the west of here. Travel west through the valley between the observatory and the lava fields until you reach some shrubbery. I'll take everything we should need and we'll meet you there. You pack a determination to learn from the best. Right, I'll go back to the cave. All this excitement has given me the urge for a nap. Alright, I don't actually know for sure where they want me to go. The hill giants southwest of the Zeom Isle. Okay. Do I have... yeah, I have this. But that's probably not faster than just taking Elkoi, right? 
now that I think about it, since we're right here, I'm usually not right here. This would be faster. I really wish they would move the gravel hooks shortcut from Lumbridge to right here. That would be so nice to be able to not have to take this bridge. Makes so much sense, especially since we're going to unlock a, uh, a glider right there as part of this quest. So Monday's update coming up in a couple days is going to be the quest point shop and they revealed the rewards in a stream. I mean, they look interesting. It's, it's nothing like huge for me, but you know, some useful things. We'll be checking it out, of course, on the day of the update. Sure. I don't even work that day. So nice. All right. Well, she's supposed to be around here somewhere. Oh, there she is. Ah, Kebab, I hope you've done your stretches. It's going to be quite the climb. I've had a quick look around the area, and I think we can squeeze between these plants. Yeah, yeah, I think we can. You know, it's quite a squeeze through this convenient line of plants. Um, ready to go? Yes, let's go. Do let ya! I know I say that wrong, probably, but whatever. A different language. All right. I mean, I could have just teleported there. I have the ability. I've always kind of liked the idea of just, like, adventuring out into the unused parts of a game world like this. Alright, I guess we're going in here. Now what? There must be a way across this chasm. If Bolri found one, we can find one. Okay. Well, the way across is to do this. There's a ledge here. We should be able to cross. It's too fragile. You'd only fall down and break one of your freakishly long legs. Freakish? Okay, I take it back. You have the legs of a terror bird. Now wait here. He doubts my agility skills. Yay, I got a rope. That rock doesn't look that strong. You can do it. Baby steps across the rope. Like, come on, lady. I'm almost 90 agility at this point. Almost. Let's explore these caves. Ignore any cave-ins. While I could sneak through them, we need to get you through, too. Alright, let's go around here. Now, the other thing happening on Monday's update is the keyring will finally go on the uh, tool belt. That's going to be pretty cool. I guess the biggest thing, too, about the quest point shop update is they're going to be adding a chest that'll store, like, useless quest items that I save, like the, um, that armor from the, uh, what's the quest called? That ugly red armor from that Ardoin quest, the Carnelian armor. That's one of them, and many other things. I think, like, at least 50 items or so. They didn't give an exact number, as far as I know. But it's definitely more than 40. So my bank will finally have some more room, which will be nice. Okay, can we, can we like jump to this one? Yeah, okay. Jumpy, jumpy, jump. You think you could come along, Golrana? I can't go any further. The next stone is too far away. We need to find another way around. Those stones are too slippery, and there's no way you're going to stuff me into your backpack. Aha, uh -huh. well, I'm sure if Bullery found a way around that didn't involve hitchhiking on adventures. Right. I don't know. What can I do? Whatever, I'll just read what to do. Um. On successfully crossing. What am I missing here? Ah. We gotta do a thing, I guess. I got ahead of myself. Or maybe not. Maybe I had to do that. I don't know. 
We need to find a crevice for her to squeeze through. I don't know exactly where this crevice is. I don't know if it's over here. That's probably this red mark on the map. No. When in doubt, look on the mini-map. There's a small crevice here, facing away from where we need to go. My turn again so soon. Put your feet up and relax, but don't run off while I'm in there. Relax, just you wait. We'll come across a really high lever, and then you'll need me. Of course we will, Kebab. Of course. I'm gonna push that rock into the water. Hooray! There's no crevice too small for Garana to squeeze into. Now let's get you over to this side. I'll push the stone in the water so you can get across. The stone's really not, like, long enough. Okay, it's just magic stone. It floats. All the other stones. Maybe the water wasn't supposed to be see-through. I don't even remember what this water would have looked like back when this quest came out in, uh, 2011. One of the more recent quests we've done. Okay, onwards! It can't be too far to the other side. No, it cannot. And we might be done with the puzzles now. The puzzles of locating a thing to click on. Much better than the puzzle we're going to have to deal with later, because I'm sure we're going to have those stupid shapes, number puzzle things that probably ruin this quest line for a lot of people. Alright, so here we are, out in the middle of nowhere. Fresh air, what an interesting smell! It smells like a forest, but so unlike any I visited before, we must be getting close to the elven lands. It's like a five minute walk and you've never been here before. Right, so I, from what I remember, there's like a secret thing you have to examine, but where that secret thing is, I cannot tell you. Um, let me see. And as far west and south and examine a sturdy tree. West and south, that would be over here. Sturdy tree. In my experience, a tree this sturdy would hold me without a problem. Of course, I couldn't say the same about you. But I say we give it a go. Once again, I could have just teleported here. You know that, right? think you're so fancy taking your long walk. I can just literally magic myself to this place whenever I want. Greetings, elf. I'm Golrana. I'm not exactly experienced talking to elves, so please excuse us if we're insulting you by being here. I was hoping to speak to if Ilfreen. Ilfeen. I am Ilfeen. It seems I have become a friend to all gnomes. Teclan saw you arrive from a distance and called for me. You're only the second gnome to arrive this way. I presume you are here because of the letter? We are indeed. Um, this was forwarded years ago. We had lost any hope that someone would come. We only found it recently. Let's say that we came as soon as we could. By the way, this is Kebab. He's going to help me in this mission. Hello again, Elfine. Kebab and I have met before. You have made a wise choice for a partner in your mission. You've got no shortage of good references, Kebab. Anyhow, Elfin, the letter mentions that you would help us to find my father. Your father? Are you Bolri's daughter? That I am. Then I could not be more honored to meet you. Your dad has a brilliant analytical mind. It's such a shame that it is set so stubbornly on revenge. He spent a few hundred years experimenting in his cave, researching methods for dispelling illusions, just to find Glaufrey and avenge his family. A very dedicated Admiral Gnome. I'll bite irritable. His cave is in the sheep field at the northwest of the village. I'll take you there. Interesting location choice. There you go. I'll be in the village if you need me. Outdated sheep graphics. Alright. You know, this place isn't dissimilar from Golri's cave. Look, there are a couple of books lying around, Kebab. You should read them to see what needs to be done. Yes, reading books in RuneScape is definitely a thing that I do on You said a couple books. Well, I found one. Oh my gosh, it's got so much. Oh no. 
Oh no, I'm not reading that. Okay, where is this other book? Lectern? Is, is there another thing I'm missing? I can build at a crate, I can search a crate. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Let's just follow the guide so as to get through this in a quick manner. Um, let me see, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Just need to find all these items. All right, we placed them on the table, apparently. Stuff. What else can we search? Search these crates. Search the shelf. I guess we just search everything, and it'll take the things we need. All right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Can't tell if these are separate crates. That's one single crate, for sure. All right. Nothing. A lot of useless crates, that's for sure. Okay, got a crystal. I genuinely don't remember if this puzzle's very different or if we're just going to do the same sort of puzzle again that we have done many a time before, much to my frustration. All right, more crystals. I guess we could read the lectern. Yeah, good stuff. All right, is that everything? Have we found everything? I don't know, we can click build and I guess we'll see what happens, right? I don't have all the elements. Can I like check what elements I need? Will it be like checked off in the book? No. Okay, well, what what am I missing here? What have I not searched? Ah, I missed this shelf. I think. No. No, I did not miss that shelf. Miss this crate. I did miss that crate. A minute? Oh, minute. Still don't have all the things. What am I missing? I think... No, I've got cloth there. What am I missing? If I have rune glue, I'm supposed to have rune glue. The rune glue can be found by searching a picture on the northwest corner. Oh. Tricky. That would explain why I didn't have it. Very, very tricky having the secret painting safe. Alright, now do we have everything? No? What else could we be missing? Um, we need two strips of fabric. I don't know if I have two. Light crystal. Oh, we have to search an elven lamp? That's not... What is an elven lamp? Ah. Tricky trick. There we go. We did it. The lack of music is concerning. All right. We built the device. Oh my god. It is worse than I imagined. Okay. Various coins must be placed. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. I think what we do is we do this. All right, so now we have a red circle. So what do we need? Um, we need cyan, magenta, and yellow. Oh my gosh. Okay. We need we we need stuff. Okay, so if I understand this correctly, then we need blue and green. That that that, that was blue. Looks kind of purplish, but it's blue. All right, so how how do I get? Wasn't it this that I got the crystal from? Did I not get another crystal. I'm confused. Minute crystal seeds. Searching the crate. No, we got it from the crate. Alright. I'm gonna need a lot of these. 
Oh, I can only have three. All right, give me a blue, please. All right, we get, oh. All at once, apparently. Okay. Well, then I need a green next. I really don't like these puzzles that much. Oh, come on. No, I went the wrong way, but I can go back. Okay, green. All right, so then how do you combine them? Um. Okay. Oh, I see, so we can change what shape we're getting based on things. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so we need blue and we need nine. And uh, what, it has to be done with two pieces? So blue to get Nine is impossible. I'm confused. Oh, no, wait, we have to combine blue and green. And that makes cyan. Okay, that's really confusing. All right, so then we just, we already uh, should be good then. We need to add this here and this here. There we go. All right, so then we need 24 in magenta. So we need red and blue of the same shape. Add up to 24, which would be um, square. So we need red and blue squares. All right, how do we make a square then? Doing this without a guide, I can't even imagine. Even doing it this way is... No, wait, no, don't do that. Um, fill. Okay, how do you tell how fill it, fill it is? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, that's two. Need one more, and then... It... All right, so that should make it. Now, we need, um... What was it again? It was, uh... Red and indigo... No, oh, wait, red and blue. All right, we need to do this. Who was over here somewhere, wasn't it? No, apparently not. Which one's indigo? That one indigo? Yeah, that one's indigo. All right, make me an indigo square, please. Yes, all right. Now, what, what else was it? Red. We passed right on the way here, because I was not paying attention. Alright. I mean, at least there's not the whole, like, randomly combining them thing with this. That was going. Alright, red, and indigo. Wait, the other one's gone now. That one doesn't even work. Because it was because it was blue, not indigo. I I messed up my brain. Oh my gosh! I'm just gonna destroy this indigo square right now. Same with these green circles. Goodbye. Wait, did I need the green circles? No, I'm gonna keep the green circles because I don't even remember what I used. And you can't reserve them. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. No. Dang it! I'm a failure. Okay, why is there no music in here? I mean, I know it's really quiet and you can't even really hear it, but, like, there needs to be some music, right? The background, very lightly. All right, um, blue. I don't actually want to... I think we're good. I think it'll still do. I just can't stand rooms that don't have music. All right, this is what we actually needed. Oh, if it's on manual. I don't get it. I don't get it. Alright, so that should do it then. Let's make sure that we've done it correctly before we move on to the next one. Yes, okay. So now we need a yellow and only a six. Which is red and green. 
but um have to get the right number. Oh, red and green would be if it's a different number. We can just use yellow. So we can have two yellow circles and that'll be it. Good stuff. This is not the most uh, appropriate. No, don't. Why do I keep clicking on the wrong thing? There's too many things going on here. That, that's the answer. All right. Come on, yellow. This is yellow or orange. They kind of look similar. That's orange. Okay. See, if it looked like that there, I'd be able to tell. But NXT is notoriously bad, I think, with accuracy in this sort of business. All right. We should be ready now. So we can go ahead and toss that, that squares. Oh, crap. I saw it on squares. I need circles. Uh, empty, please. Will it be 100% empty? No. E empty. All right. Now we do it again. Now I have so many that I have to figure out which ones are correct again. It's so annoying. This quest is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. It's because of this puzzle. All right, there we go. Now, it, what was it? It was like a red and blue here, right? And then, was it green? Yeah, I did need green. See, I'm I'm not completely stupid. All right, the device is calibrated. Now, are we gonna have to do more with it or what? Finished. I followed the instructions carefully. It should work. By Oknox saw kebab. I feel I've misjudged you. In several lifetimes, I could never have constructed that. I mean, I don't think you would use the phrase in several lifetimes if your lifetime was that long. Now, I don't think we'll be needing any more of those crystal coins. Oh, thank you. Would you like me to put them back for you? Yes, get rid of them forever, please. There we go. Anyway, we have to push on. I'll strap this onto my back and meet you at the Letya Bank. You may be a master craftsman, but I'm pretty sure I'll beat you in a foot race. Yeah, they wouldn't even let me put that device... My backpack, so whatever. All right, was it the bank? She said, "Where, where was it that we were going?" I, w I wasn't listening. That's you right there, though. Right, you ready to go? Feeling limber? Yes, let's go. Right behind you. Oh, one of my ships. I'm trying to do ports again. I'd gotten out of it. I don't... I'm not a huge fan of ports. Alright. Look, what's that? It wasn't there before. You're right. It must have been revealed by the anti-illusion device. Let's open it. An air vent in the middle of the mountains? I call shenanigans. Here, attach this rope and feed it into the hole. No problem. Nice to have unlimited ropes. Alright. Wow, that's that was a little weird. Come on, faster, we're not going to subdue humankind by being wimpy, and you know it. Is that Glaufrey? Glaufrey can't be alive, that makes no sense. With Glaufrey, you can't be sure of anything. Those gnomes, they're all dressed like Glau. Stop. Vanish. Glau and Glaufrey is like Saruman and Sauron, isn't it? Attack. Who's Glau? A vindictive gnome who used to be a Grand Tree guardian until he tried to kill the Grand Tree and frame humans for the crime. And oh gosh, get this out of the way. No. You seem to know more about our race than I do. You think the gnomes are related to Glau? Um, perhaps it may be that Glau comes from Arbosandra. Let's get going before they notice us. It's rather dark in here. Yeah, yeah, it is. I found something. It's hollow. That's my head. Would you please get off? Ah, sorry. Was it supposed to do this? Or what? I can see an opening further down. 
The rope doesn't seem to go any further down. Ow, watch where you go. Ah. Okay, here we are. Oh no, weird noises. Sorry, you okay? Well, I've been pushed to the bottom of the chute. You? I've managed to grip on that vent you missed. It leads to a quiet corridor. I'll have a look around. You sure you didn't push me on purpose? Oh, never mind. Wait there. I'll try to find you. Alright, so what do we do in here? We got some digging tortoise. Oh. Yes. Yes, I was just saying that. Those tortoises, are they mining? Yeah. Whoa, that was crazy camera work. I should get out of here before I get noticed. Oh, so I'm not even allowed to explore this room right now. Got it. Kind of weird they built that room just to have the tortoises destroy it. Very strange. Alright, so where do you think we need to go from here? I'll just look it up. Save time. This quest is going on longer than I had allotted time for it. I thought it'd be like a 40 minute quest. Clearly not. Alright. What do we do? Head up the stairs. Do not walk in front of a watcher. Go east until you find an entrance. Prison. Alright. So which way is this watcher facing? He's facing that way. So I need to like sneak around here. Rotate him. Ah, you suck. You can just watch the wall and you're too stupid to realize. Don't know how they function as spies. I guess we just go in here. Who goes there? Um... Let's see. All right, it doesn't matter which option, so I will say that my name is Kebab. Kebab, never heard of you. Wait, are you one of those human adventurers we've been warned about? Um, yes, fear me. Oh no, I have to press the red button. No, well done, you just passed the test. No need to press that button. Test, what test? I am a gnome disguised as a human, sent to test your reactions in case of a human invasion. You have followed the protocol and succeeded. Congratulations. Really? Absolutely. Why don't you take a break now? I'll guard the prisoner while you're away. Awesome. I've never had a break before. This has got to be the best day ever. Yeah, it won't be. I can't believe I got away with that. That was called a win-win situation. No matter what I chose, I would have won. Not what a win-win situation is, but... Can I just, like, pick the lock and get inside? You never know whether you're supposed to talk through the cell or go inside first. A human? Glauk? What ho What do you hope to achieve? The illusion's lifelike, though, I must say. A little podgy around the edges, perhaps, but still pretty good. Are you Bolri? You know full well that I'm Bolri. Look, I'm not in the mood for you today. Leave me here to rot? Fine, just leave me to rot in peace. Will you snap out of it and let me speak? My name's Kebab. I'm getting you out of here. Ah, uh, you thought this would work, Glauk? Or were you just bored? You know me better than this. I'd rather take orders from a warped terror bird than a human. Who's this Glauk you keep talking about? I thought Glaufrey was in charge of this place. I'm surprised no one has mentioned that traitor's name in years. Least of all, Glauk. Okay, I'll humor you. Perhaps you are who you say you are. I traveled with your daughter to rescue you after your grandson, Golri, found your last letter. You say I have a grandson, how could I possibly... And little Golrana, my princess? No, snap out of it. Golri, um... My daughter would never trust a human to save me. What have you done with her? Um... I fell down the shaft and we got separated. I landed in what looked like a mine while she came out on this level, the prison level, I think. We should go and find her. What, you clumsy oaf? You left my little Golrana alone? Hey, I'm not clumsy. She pushed me down accidentally, I think. And she can certainly handle herself. If you're so worried about your daughter, we should go and look for her as soon as possible. Whoa, wait a minute. How do I know that you're not one of Glock's tricks? 
For one, I don't know who Glauk is. Uh, Glauk's the leader of this place. He looks a lot like Glaufrey the Entrusted did back in the Dark Days, but Glauk's forbidden everyone from so much as uttering Glaufrey's name. It's so extreme that most have never even heard it. Yet he's probably Glaufrey anyway. You know, you could always ask me questions that Glauk couldn't answer. If he spent his life in Arposandra, there must be plenty he doesn't know. Questions, huh? I think I can do that. What's the name of the elf mentioned in the letter that brought you here? Ilfine. Who was the letter addressed to? Would have been Grana, right? No, it was apparently addressed to Jean. I didn't read. Um, how did you find Arposandra? We followed the instructions in your lab, made a portable anti-illusion device, and scouted the west of the mountains. There we found an aeration vent that wasn't there before. We tied up a rope and came down. If, as you say, you made an anti-illusion device, how many different types of colored crystal coins can be made with the singing bowl? 42, apparently. In my lab, there's a picture on the wall. What is it of? Um, the Grand Tree. Not one answer wrong? I'm sorry for being so rude, human. Let's go and find my daughter. Alright. Oh, he's stuck. But hopefully he'll catch up. So, do we... Whoa there, there's a watcher there and I can't get to it without being seen. Let's avoid this area. We just go upstairs then? I can hear commotion upstairs, probably from all the gnomes we saw earlier. Now it's probably not the best moment to barge in. Alright, well then we'll go in here. It's locked. Fine, I'll go in here. Since every other way is blocked off, it has to be this way. Could you stay in this alcove for a minute while I go and get Golrana? I want to make sure the coast is clear. Alright. I, I don't see any reason why it's not. Oh, just give me one second. Close the door to this room. Because my cell phone alarm is going off in the other room, and I don't feel like going and turning it off. That's why I said I had a time limit going over it. Gorana, I found... Shh, look. Yeah, her face does not look the same as her chat head. Squawk, squawk, I have to make the machines ready. Coming through. Oh no, it's a terror bird. I hope this batch fares better than the last. 100% failed conversion, that was. I know, why spend so much time breeding them when so few make the conversion? On the other claw, it's better than guarding downstairs or working in the factory. At least we get to ogle the ladies. That's a nice one in this lot. Lovely plumage. Let's hope she makes it. We can hope. I wonder if fiddling with the machine would make more useful terror birds like us. Um, I reckon the bosses would appreciate that. No, no, we can't touch the machines. It's forbidden. Ah, well. I suppose we should get on with it. Off you go. Ooh, that one worked. We might be in luck. Out of the way, number 202. We'll take you to the conditioning pods later. You'll get taught everything you need to start work in a moment. Now time for the hot chick. Oh no, it didn't work. So sad, she didn't make it. What a waste. Wow, you just punched her into oblivion. Blue was not her color. What's this? The alarm! Squawk, squawk, don't panic! What could be causing it? Prisoner escaping? Guard 103 sleeping on the button? Let's get out of here before they find us. I hope your dad is where I left him. Two feet away. Hello. Dad, is that you? My princess. We can catch up later. We need to climb up the chute. I'll go first. Gorana, Bolri, attach yourselves to the rope and I'll pull you both up. Yeah, that's my strength level coming in handy there.
My eyes, the light is blinding. Quick, Kebab, we remove the rope, but the gnomes in black will find other ways up. Push that boulder in front of the vent. Begin strength level. Yeah, I know. I kind of thought I would run to the other side when I pressed it. Huh. Is my character really so dumb that they need me to do everything? You, you guys think you could get out of the way? Yeah? There we go. There, that should keep them occupied for a while. Now what? Oh. Dad, is that you? Are you alright? Well, Rana, my little princess, I barely recognize you. You are so much older than I remember. Oh, Dad, just hug me, will you? You may not know it, but you've been gone for a long, long time. I could barely walk when you left, and now my hair is going gray. You'll always be my beautiful little Princess Gorana. How's your mother? Oh, Dad. What? Mom died. No, no, I refuse to. Mom died, Dad. She died seven years ago. That would have been when RuneScape 2 came out. Dearest Tegina, how could I have left you all for so long? Mom passed away quietly in her sleep. She never stopped thinking of you, even at the very end. And every time she saw Gori, your grandson, she'd know how much he looked like you. Gogo's more like you than he knows. You've been away so long. Almost 200 years. Jeez. You don't know how sorry I am. I wanted to clear our honor, but I've missed my whole life, hurt the people I cared about, and failed to be there for Gina as she passed. Gorana, will you ever forgive me? Of course, Dad. Why else do you think I'm here? We all suffered like you did, but we dealt with it and became stronger because of it. And those shadows. Oh my gosh, those shadows are making me suffer. Um, I wouldn't have traveled the globe, seen the things I've seen, had, had you uh, become king. Although you couldn't forget yourself, it only took a few years for people to forget about your disgrace. Uncle Bolrin supported us from the start and soon let us live above ground. He's the king, you know. Um, as soon as I was old enough, I left the Trino village. At first I told myself I was looking for you, but I soon grew to love traveling and exploring for its own sake. I found a kindred spirit, um, Belmondo, a charming gnome pilot, and we married and had a son. We called him Golri in your honor. We stayed at the Tree Gnome village until Gogo was old enough to cope on his own. Gogo's not an adventurer. He loves living in his cave, reading books, and studying. He's like you in that sense, and he's so very eccentric and quick-witted. He's been keeping an eye on those parcels you sent, but he soon became overwhelmed with them. I'm sure you'll both get on like a tree on fire, but we can't just stay here. Oh, okay. Let's go back to the tree gnome village. I can't face losing you again in the mountains. I'll use a few grand tree seed pods. Hopefully there's enough space for a few gliders to land. Shadows. Why? Wow. So they can just see that from anywhere in the world, huh? Gnome glider for a very special lady. Belmondo, I didn't know you were on duty. I'm always on duty for a beautiful lady like yourself. Calm down there. You charmer, let me introduce you, Belmondo. This is my dad, Bolri. Dad, this is my husband, Belmondo. Most delighted to make your acquaintance, sir. You'll have to excuse me for not asking your permission before taking Golrana's hand. Rest assured, had anyone known your whereabouts, I would not have made such a presumption. In fairness, Belmondo asked Mum for my hand. She told me that much. Belmondo, you seem like a fine, well-mannered gnome. Well-mannered, yeah. Well-mannered gnome. I should thank you for looking after my per Golrana. He's the one looking after us all, sir. Now, we normally take people back to the Grand Tree, but in this case, I presume you would rather go to the Tree Gnome Village? There's nowhere to land at the Tree Gnome Village. Besides, didn't Uncle Bolren disapprove of gliders near the village? Darling, I can land anywhere. Ink. Um, besides, you need to make a big entrance when you have the king's long-lost brother in tow. Sir, may I have the honor of flying you back to the Tree Gnome Village? The honor would be mine.
Uncle Bolren. Gorana, stop calling me uncle. It makes me feel ancient, and I'm barely older than you are. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm in too good a mood, uncle. Ori, is that you? Gorana, why have you brought me this cruel Glaufry trick? Oh no, not again. I can promise you he isn't. If he was a trick, we'd know because Gorana is wearing a portable anti-illusion device. Dearest brother, it's been too long. Hooray! You are looking so well, brother. Interesting hedge maze you've built around the village. You like it? We're still fighting the swine Kazard. The hedge maze seems to keep him at bay. It's a copy of one of the puzzles you used to draw for me, brother. What's all the noise? Go, go, Dad, this is Golri, your grandson, and a little miscreant. Ah, Golri, I hate to say it, but you look a lot like me at your age. Gorana, he's a fantastic-looking gnome. Um, there he is. Please excuse me, Uncle, but there's someone here who deserves our thanks. Oh, that he is. Not there he is. Bob, I was skeptical at first, but we couldn't have done it without you. You couldn't deserve your reward more. What's my reward? Ah, it's this. A lot of thieving XP, a lot of agility XP, a lot of construction XP, a lot of runecrafting XP. Spirit seed storage. I've never gotten one, though, so whatever. A new glider. Treasure hunter keys. 249 quest points. Not bad. That'll be useful for the shop. And yes, there we go. We got a level in this, which unlocked a whole lot of things. Good stuff. You could go check out the glider real quick, because why not? Oh, this is the wrong way. My camera was upside down. Yeah, having these quest points will be very useful for the shop, because even with maximum quest points, there's still a few rewards you can't get. But you can like re-prestige re once a week to reuse your points in a different way. I don't I don't think that's too important to me cuz I don't need all the rewards. There's just certain ones I'll want like the storage thing. But yeah, so now we can glider from here, which is pretty nice. Got all these. You can actually unlock one in the arc, which I didn't realize until recently. So we'll go ahead and do this real quick just in case. You never know, you might win something good, right? Usually it's just junk. Yeah. Whatever, we can dump it. I've been dumping it into her blur lately even for these ones. All right, so next thing we're going to do, though, is um, do I have any teleporting? Here, we can go to Manor Farm. Maybe I'll have something. Apparently, this little thing it plays is not for you showing up, but is for, um, for something uh, breeding, because I've been in here when something's bred, and it plays that same noise. But whatever, I'm... I'm about done with chickens for now. I'll come back to them later. We're gonna be breeding zygomites for the foreseeable future, probably, until I get dragons. But yeah, this is what the farm looks like. I do have a um, relic and cream rabbit, but it's refusing to breed any anything. I need to get I have like stuff, whatever. Anyway, though, so what we needed though, for my bank. I can find it. There it is. Magical Bean Universal. Because it's time for us to get a second one now. Oh, I'm going to need to boost my level. I'll just use the pork pie I bought to get up to 89, since that doesn't matter anymore. It's, it's not possible to boost that. So yeah, we're going to have to hold off on the um, third and final spirit tree, but we can at least grow the one that I use the most out of the three. On my main account, that is. Obviously, I, I can't use it on this one because I've not had it until now. You know, it's really sad whenever you teleport in and then the lighting goes all dull like that. Didn't we just keep things how they were a second ago? So sad. Yes, yeah, so let's run on over here. And we will, um, we have a tree. No. It's health checked. Hey, look at that. I've been finding a lot of these guys around. I'd have already found this one, huh? No? Alright. Anyway, so the tree's over here, if I remember correctly. This little patch, yep. These seeds are so nice. Perfect thing. And there we go. 
Oh, right, I, I gotta eat this first. Hooray! I don't know which direction his face is gonna be, so we can't pick that. This way, maybe? Yeah! There we go. So now we can check his health, get all that free experience, progress towards the level 89 that we need. And yeah, there we go. So now we only can't use that one and that one. You can leave from that one, you just can't go to it. So you get the third one. It's kind of weird in my opinion. I think maybe you don't need the third one, you just need the ability to have a third one. I think that might be it, but really, we got the seed for it already, so why not? But anyway, yeah, that is the gnome quest line done up as far as it goes now. Feels like they should probably have like at least two more quests in the quest line, in my opinion. And I really wish they would hurry up and get around to it, but it's so outdated at this point. Then again, so were the elves, really. Like, you look at Plague's End and stuff compared to, um, even, like, Morning's End Part 1. Like, the difference in graphical quality and stuff is pretty similar to what you see here. But yeah, I really, really hope Art with Sandra is not just something that never happens. I want to see it as a proper city you can visit, like Dorgish Khan and stuff. Actually friendly... Or, I mean, having, like, an entire city that's not friendly would be interesting, too, I guess. But, you know, I kind of feel like you should, in the end, you should defeat fake Glaufrey guy, and uh, everyone should be friends in some way, shape, or form. But, uh, yeah, so that is that quest done. On Monday afternoon, probably, we'll be checking out um, Monday's update, the quest point shop. Hopefully, have some cool things unlocked from that. Don't know how much we'll get, but, you know, we got a decent amount points. We got more than half of the quest points that you can get, so that's something. But yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye!